These are the Nescafe World Globe mugs. They're heavy. They're crystal. I believe you had to send away for them. And I see them on eBay. People are asking maybe $10 a piece, $14, $15, up to $20 for a pair. We have a set of four, and they're very sturdy and they're very heavy. But not everybody has this. All right, we're just getting back from the thrift store. Mighty Mike picking weeds vintage, how are ya? Hello. And I had to run to the grocery store for dinner tonight. We got a box full of treasure. Can't wait to do a haul video. And I'm also doing a marketplace meetup. We had four of these that we picked. I don't know, maybe uh, two, three dollars each. And we sold one yesterday for 10 and we're selling them for 10 a piece. And they're vintage, retired, AC Moore, arts and crafts, shopping baskets. Had a lot of activity on Facebook Marketplace. And they're pretty cool. Make a great display. A lot of people loved AC Moore. They went bankrupt at the end of 2019. And Michael's bought many of their stores. So they are now a collector's item. And that's what we do at Pickin' Weeds Vintage. We're always looking for cool and unusual stuff like that. So we're getting ready to do the Marketplace Meetup, and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna pick some stuff from the garden for dinner tonight, some sugar peas, and we'll do our haul video. So glad you joined us on this edition of Pickin' Weeds Vintage. Right, Ollie? Mm-mm, good. Mm-mm, good. That's what Campbell's soup is. Mm -mm. Good. <laughs> hey. All right, we got, I know it's silly, isn't it? But you gotta have fun in this industry, in this business. It's an oversized Campbell's soup. Love it. Two bucks. One of our favorite thrift stores. Right, Ollie? All right, let's go pick. I'm hungry. It's going on one o'clock and I need to have some lunch. Schmoozer, let me do. All right, we're gonna pick some sugar peas. I'm gonna put them in my salad, and we're gonna have them with our steak burgers tonight. And we have some mushrooms. Oh, look at the amaryllis coming up. Nice. There's some more. Amaryllis is a summer bulb. Look at that. Here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. Here comes the sun. <laughs> and I say, it's all right. All right. Just had the marketplace meetup. And he was half hour late, but he was caught in traffic. That's the thing, you never know when someone is gonna ghost you or they say they're gonna show up, then they don't. So good communication is key. And I've learned to uh, send messages like before they arrive to say, hey, if you get there early, I know you're coming from out of the area, just message us. So he did message me and say that he was going to be late, like 20 minutes, so that was fine. But we got rid of the AC Moore shopping baskets and he was really excited about it. In fact, I sent him to a local thrift store at Lighthouse where we got him because he asked. And I said, go to the man cave and tell him Big Mike sent you. Almost sounds like commercial. And tell him Big Mike sent you. And if you act now. <laughs> right, Ollie? Anyways, let's get to picking. Here are the peas. These sugar peas. Oh, yeah. And I like eating them right from the vine. Look at that. Mm. Mm. I think it has really good flavor. I know not everybody likes them. Kay's not a big fan. Because she said she never had them growing up. But I think they're tasty. Mm-hmm. See, I could just stand here all day and just eat raw sugar peas. <laughs> All right, 
so we didn't do too bad with the sugar peas. We got a uh, nice little colander full. And now we're gonna try our luck with strawberries. And see if we could, we've been making smoothies with the strawberries and they've been absolutely delicious. So let's see what we got here with the berries. some more for dinner tonight for smoothies tomorrow you take the back end and then the little tip on the front the tip is where the flower was and the back is where the stem is and you just rip that off pinch it off see in here just pinch it off and there you go now some of these I when when you're talking about sugar peas See that? Tear that off and pinch off the top. Uh, in my opinion, the smaller ones, the thinner ones, like that one, are sweeter than, let's say, a big one like this. Some people desire these, but I know when I eat these raw, they start to get light green, sometimes even yellow, and they're past their maturity. And you can see the good green color. But this will still cook well. Even this one here, it's a big one. I prefer the small ones. I just think they're sweeter. These are the strawberries that we picked. So sweet. Look at that dark red hue they have to them. Oh boy. They're gonna taste amazing on my salad. Wow, all of a sudden we have quite a lunch here. I used the leftover pork chops, which had a, um, a spicy sauce, not sriracha, but it was a hot spicy mix. So we got olives on here, we got tomatoes on here, we got sugar peas on here, we got spinach on here, we have romaine lettuce, and we have strawberries. Ooh, you know what? I wanna put some pepper on, and then we're gonna dig in. Okay, so we got a little Black peppercorns, yes, indeed. Love that. And how about well, everything seasoning? It's just so good. So good, so good. Whew. It's time to feast. Thank you, Lord, for this good food. Amen and amen. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I heated the pork, the pork chop up. Not really. Brings out the flavor. Oh, we got baby carrots in here too. These are the Nescafe World Globe mugs. They're heavy, they're crystal. I believe you had to send away for them 
and I see them on eBay. People are asking maybe $10 a piece, $14, $15, up to $20 for a pair. We have a set of four, and they're very sturdy, and they're very heavy, but not everybody has this. Oh, wow. 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 This really completes the set. I'm excited about this. They don't have the bowl. And we paid $4 for a set of five. And it is in really good condition. I did not see any on eBay. So I'm very excited to have a complete set of five. Four of the Crystal Coffee Mugs, Tea Mugs, Nestle. And we have the globe that goes with it. Wow! Yeah! Score! Also, we got a fairy lamp for $2. It's green, and it appears to be in very good condition. I did not see any chips or scratches or ding. I wonder, is this... Is that, uh, what you would call a glass? Uranium glass. I don't know. It might be. It looks like that. You know what? I think it might be. Wow. <laughs> so this is another score for two dollars. It does look like uranium glass. Wow. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Lord. So that was a great score as well. The ferret lamp. All right, we got some mugs. Mugs were 25 cents a piece. This is Tag. And it is... Moo! Moo! It's a cow. It's cute. Got this old glass, this crystal glass butter dish. It's kind of neat. Or is that a sugar cube dish? I wonder. No, I guess it might be a butter dish. I love this guy here. He reminds me of the Pink Panther. Really? And he was only a dollar. And I guess he probably had like a faux flower in his head or whatever. But I don't know. I might keep him. He is just really cool. And he has that really cool look that a panther would have. So I love him for a dollar. Opal House. Original retail price, $14.99. Wow, he just looks cool. Next to that, we have, it looks like a nun, and she is a uh, sister reading with her, her uh, student, and maybe they're learning a Bible verse. And that was just $1.50, and that's a planter. We have some other ones of these. I think they're really, really cool. And... Um, doesn't have manufacturer's mark, but I don't know. You just don't see these as much. They're from yesteryear. Look at the detail on her face. And she's pointing to the scripture that she has to memorize or has to learn for Sunday school or for class. So I thought that one was a good one. This is cute. This is an official... Post-it brand product, and it's heavy, and it is a purse, and you pull the post-it notes out. I just thought for one dollar, that was a good buy. All right, we got this ruler, and it's Ocean City, Maryland Convention and Visitors Bureau, Ocean City, Maryland, White Marine Capital World. We measure up in every way. And it is the Convention of Visitors Bureau. It looks like it's pretty old. It did have an area code, but it was a quarter. And it has the metric units on back. And it's the conversion. So I just thought that was a from, you know, the old English, you know, from, uh, you know, centimeters, millimeters, inches. And um, I think it's pretty cool that it has that on the back. But that was just a quarter. This was also just a quarter. This is the... Trap Family Lodge, and if you're a fan of the sound of music like my mom was, that's a neat magnet. It's an old magnet. It has a little bit of a bow to it, but uh, for a quarter, I thought that was a pretty good buy. I don't even know. I guess it's probably still in existence. I think the last um, daughter or family member 
of the originals that was based on the sound of music she passed or somebody passed from that family we also got this royal orleans and this is ceramic and this is this was two dollars and it was made in japan and i'm not sure is that ro for royal orleans so probably the brand name but i didn't see any chips or anything on it and i thought hey for two bucks that's a good one too got a couple plastic mugs advertising uh, oreo cookie viceroy rich lights are very light and for as i throw things around here for a quarter again not too bad we got these sports illustrated pins they have the olympic emblem on them and for a dollar i think we'll do well in those as well in our ebay store and then this is an old ashtray latex chemical company i don't know if you can see that or not latex chemical company and then has the two uh cutouts there for the smokes or cigarettes it's very heavy. I kind of like the color, too, with the glass. So just for a dollar, I thought we did pretty well. Finally, we got this McDonald's glass. I don't know where we buy it, but it has one of these guys on it. And um, they're the keep your eyes on your fries guys. I forget what they were called. And he's jumping over him. He's leapfrogging over that guy. Uh, Ronald McDonald. They're from the 1977 series, No Swimming filet of fish Lake. And it has here 1977 McDonald Land Action Series. So, I don't know. Kay will probably say he paid too much for it, but it got my eye, and I didn't see it there the last time, and I thought I would take it with us. So, yeah, we did really well, and I'm happy. Ah, uh, that fairy lamp. That's cool. I wonder if that is uranium glass. I don't know. Looks like it is. Very, very cool. Right, Sonny? Hi, Sonny. Hey, Sonny, do. Sonny Schmooter. Hey, Sonny. So we had a really good haul, and we appreciate you tuning in to this edition of Pickin' Weeds Vintage. Again, we want to thank all of our new subscribers. It's awesome. And don't forget about Pickin' Weeds Vintage, our eBay store. I'm Mighty Mike. Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy picking.